This week, Inside the Galaxy. Drop in on the players at Lucky Strike as they bowl with the Galaxy sponsors. We'll hear from two former crew players and the rest of the guys before they head off to Columbus for Saturday's match. But first, let's look back at that 2-0 win over TFC last weekend at home. The response from our players uh, from last week was fabulous. We had a, a number of, uh, I thought, excellent performances tonight. And uh, certainly the, the return of some of our players in, into our first 11 was great, uh, notably uh, Edson Buttle and Sean Franklin. I'm absolutely surprised Sean was able to go 90 minutes and uh, Chris Birchall played well and then uh, you know Beckham and Donovan were fabulous. So, you know, I'm not complaining. It was a good effort and a, a really a, a hard-earned victory. You know, the back line's been playing together for about four months now since I've been out and I've just been watching them knowing that they keep a tight line. They, uh, you know, they talk to each other so I just, Wanted to make sure I had a good chemistry again with Omar, Greg, and Todd, and um, tonight went pretty well, and I, I felt pretty comfortable out there. You know, it's great to see Eddie back, Sean Franklin back. You know, they're two talented players, and uh, you know, Sean's been out for a while. He had a bad injury, and uh, you know, for him to play 90 minutes tonight, you know, exceptional. Um, and Eddie, you know, he he's a player that puts himself about and always be in the right areas to score goals. He's strong, you know, he's passionate, and uh, you know, he's a very good player. I started against Chicago. Um, but I didn't feel too good in that game. I don't know if it was the, the difference in the climate, but I felt really good tonight that I could I could run all day. Um, got a bit tired towards the last five or ten where we were we were comfortable, but we still had to chase the ball and, and defend properly. But um, pleased with the overall performance tonight. You know, I had I had a few. I hit the post. Should have should have had three goals to be honest tonight. And. Uh, I've never scored a hat-trick and if, if I was going to then tonight was the night but um, you know it, it's about the team performance tonight and it was, it was a really good performance. He's a person with a lot of pride besides that outstanding ability he has and uh, you know he, he, he did everything he could tonight uh, you know, to, to, to lead this team and uh, I thought his performance was obviously outstanding and uh, you know you talk about a player that uh, uh, technically is, is quick, uh, mentally is quick. He was fabulous tonight uh, in, in a number of uh, attacking opportunities and he did the defending he needed to do and, and the way he, he got out on the break in, in the second half was uh, remarkable. Uh, David, uh, you know, <laughs> David gave 100% tonight. There's no question about it. An excellent performance. We needed a lot of guys to step up and be leaders tonight after last week and he was at the forefront of that and he was excellent all night. He landed, ran down the ball and they got it throwing and uh, David did a good job of hustling and winning it back and um, kind of opened myself up to give Landon some space and he got it and passed it over to me and I just uh, put it in the back of the net. Kind of did the easy part. I always like scoring against my former team. Um, you know, it um, feels like, extra special when you do that. You have a lot of talented players on our team and if you can get those parts right, the the hustle plays, working hard, concentrating, um, helping other guys, if we get that right, we're going to be a very good team. And um, that was a culmination of, of all that, and it was nice to get rewarded for it. I think it was more relief than anything else. You know, I think we, you know we needed to push for that second goal, and um, you know once it came, we were happy. You know, I, I should have put away the you know the the pass from um, from Virtue from Chris and uh, you know I didn't but uh, you know second goal we needed it we knew that would finish it off and uh, you know it, it came at the end but it was uh, it was an enjoyable one. A few days later, the entire team headed out to Lucky Strike in Torrance and bowled with team sponsors to pay thanks for all their hard work. It was a fun day had by all. Now let's check out some of the highlights. It's always fun when you can get together with uh, 
with uh, people that support your team and enjoy the, uh, the evening and get to know them in a short span of two or three frames of bowling. It was, it was a lot of fun. From one sponsor to the next, you know, we get to know them a little bit and uh, they let us know what they do and, you know, they have a little bit different lifestyles than us, so we, we for sure appreciate what we do and we appreciate them supporting us, so it's nice. I had a great time. We met all the players from the Galaxy team. Uh, we had fun. We all bowled together. We talked and mingled and it was awesome. It's been great to see these guys just relax a little bit and having a good time and seeing them from outside the soccer field and just in, enjoying their time. And These guys are competitive no matter what you look at it or whatever, what sport they're playing. Clearly Kobe Jones, I mean, the guy uh, is the most improved bowler that I've seen. He went from three fingers in the, in the holes to two fingers in a spin. He must have had 15 spares today, most improved bowler. I don't really get to spend that much time with some of the um, older guys because they have families and stuff, so, so, this, uh, our, so, so this opportunity is, uh, is uh, great. It is good, you know, you, you come to work every day on the field and in the locker room, but when you get them away and can enjoy the afternoon and uh, kind of be yourself a little bit. I think the guys really enjoy that. It's refreshing. Now back to work. The guys at the field the next day in preparation for Saturday's match in Columbus. Here's what the guys had to say about the challenge ahead. I'm really looking forward to a game that I've looked forward to all season, really. I'm going back there and, and doing my job for the Galaxy. That's another one of my former teams. <laughs> so uh, hopefully you can carry this on the road and um, collectively I think uh, if you put that effort out there, we um, will get good results. Well, they're a very strong team, uh, like, the, like us as well. They're, they're pretty deep and uh, they can bring people off the bench who can make a difference. And uh, at home there, I don't know if they've won, lost too many games, I mean, so it's going to be a challenge as well. No, it's a great challenge for us because um, they haven't lost at home yet all, um, throughout the season. And you know they have a great home support, and you know we relish these challenges because you know we have a good away record, and I think we're excited about it. We're excited about you know playing a top team in, in these conditions. Yeah, they've got I think a long unbeaten streak now, um, so I got plenty of motivation to go in that, and um, I think we'll be ready for it. It's going to be a good game. I'm proud of, be, of being a part of this team and what we've achieved this year. I hope to go there and take it to the next step. You know, we have a chance to go top of the table if we if we beat them and put ourselves in the position to win the supporter shield if we do that. So, you know, kill two birds with one stone. Win, win a, a game that's going to be very important to me personally, but very important for the Galaxy as well. For LAGalaxy.com, I'm Troy Barty. Thanks for watching this week inside the galaxy.